If you've purchased a digital product from Etsy, which contains a zip file as one of the file types, I would recommend that uh, if you're on a computer, you download directly to your computer where you can unzip that file easily. On an iPad these days, you shouldn't have trouble with most file types. So what you can do there is you'll need to use a web browser rather than the Etsy app to download your file. So go to Safari. Uh, I find Safari more seamless than Chrome or Firefox when downloading files on an iPad. So go to Safari, log into your Etsy account, under your profile and purchases and reviews, you'll find your orders and click on what you want to download. That will bring you to this screen here. So if I want to click uh, to download one of these zips here, I'll click the download button. And then once I've clicked that, we'll see a new little icon appear up in the top right corner. Okay, so I'm going to click to download and it gives me a prompt. So do you want to download? Yes. And so we can see this little down arrow pulsing up in the top um, right corner here. So this is the download process. Where, uh, these files have been saved to the downloads folder, um, your default downloads folder in files. And this is just a shortcut to get you there quickly. So if you click here, it will open files, uh, the files app, and it will bring you to the downloads folder directly on your iCloud drive. So this is the file that it's just downloaded. It's still a zip file. I can't do anything with it yet. If we click on it, it will uncompress that for us. And then we can go in to see the actual documents there. So from there, we would just use that in whichever app we're using them in. Um, Again, if you are using, if you're doing this on a computer, log into your web browser, sorry, log into your Etsy account on your web browser, download your files, uncompress them, and then just send them to either a shared location where you can access them on your iPad, or if you're on a Mac, you can airdrop, um, and failing all of that, just try to email um, those files to yourself so that you can access them across your different devices.